This GBU vlog will feature partial nudity and discussions about character death that may act as a trigger. Fear and discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome to my GBU vlog. We're gonna go in order, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and then the thank yous and what's next. Good. The Step Command team made a great effort to put me and my brother IC, even after the fear of having lack of space, still managed to put quite a few of us IC. I bought an in-character tent for a reason. I want to be in character more often when I go to these LARP events. I'm not wasting 800 quid on a couple of bell tents that I'm never going to use. So uh, thank you to the Step Command for allowing me to camp in character. For being volunteered by Cap and working hard in exchange for the food and banter at Marsh. Seriously, Tony Lee? A termite <laughs> house? The Academy War, thank you to you all for being transparent with how many sessions I left before I attained a new skill. I have to reset now, but I appreciate the information and the fun that you guys provide, which leads me to the Surgeon Guild sessions with Clover, played by Jennifer, and the rest of the Surgeon Guild. Jennifer, your character is an asset to the Guild. Please keep up great work. It is great roleplay, and I hope whatever happens next that we meet again soon. The run meeting in the Step Camp. I'm going to say one word, and that's Mankini. I haven't laughed like that for a while, so again, thank you to the siblings of the step for an awesome evening. The Wolves faction, drinking, singing, and being invited to Ting on Saturday night was a lovely experience. I enjoy being around the Wolves, they're so much fun to be around. That being said, Sasan Greybeard's wedding, played by Laura and Johnny, it was an absolute honour to be a part of it. I will keep the little save the date invitation which I've got in that cupboard right behind my laptop. We'll keep that as a souvenir for as part of my LARPing experience and speaking to you since funeral, I sure hope that again we do meet again on the field soon. And as you've seen throughout this vlog already, Agent Ben Smith, or Agent B Smith as it were, on photos. Thank you for liaising with me with the pictures. Bad. He wasn't as bad as E3, so it got promoted to bad rather than staying at ugly. I've had people tell me that monsters were hitting people when they were down. I was guilty of that. However, I was being hit from the floor, so the guy was laying there, hit my legs, laying there, so I hit him back. I got told off of that, but I defended myself. The brief was to defend yourself, so if the guy's on the floor attacking me, I wasn't allowed to attack them. I was trying to heal somebody or trying to get to a couple of people who were on the floor bleeding out and this one monster hovered over them not really hovered over them as in like hovered over them. the bodies were here as i was trying to approach the bodies to try and heal them there was a monster waiting here with a pole arm of all things every time i got close to try and heal them the monster would run in and i had to crawl quickly back out through the holly bushes to sprint away then as the guy turned, I quickly slid over, hurting myself in the process, trying to find out if they were bleeding out or not, and healing them. Thankfully, I had corporal magic, which does the healing quicker, or else they would have bled out. There were a few of them. I was only able to manage to save one or two of them. The other couple didn't quite make it, so I'm gutted for them. Battle. Organized chaos. Yes, it was challenging, and you got your mind racing, but boy was it chaotic. Monster's makeup wasn't clear, which adds to another thing later, which I'll explain later. Pack our lung, or lark lung, as some people call it, where you start coughing up and blowing up black stuff out your nose from your respiratory system, basically where all the dust gets kicked up off the floor on the campsite. You inhale that, and of course every time you blow your nose, there's gunk, black stuff coming out your nose. You haven't got any terminal illnesses, it's just the dust gathering in your respiratory system and then being flushed out, so... The ugly. 32 f***ing bites. Oh, the night I got back and I'm laying in bed, my legs were on fire. And I didn't get a good night's sleep. I had to put E45 and Pseudocreme on just to try and cool it down. The amount of players 
who obtained COVID after the event was astronomical. And last but not least for the ugly is Celtic's death. My character died at Renoon, and unfortunately it was due to a couple of our character circumstances. I already mentioned about monster makeup not being clear. That was one. Then as I was down, there was a man down incident. So to let paramedics do our job, we were all teleported to the other end of the battlefield. Because a ref believed I wasn't as close to who I was, he put me further away again. Then as we're about to time in, monsters were spawning in. So we got teleported again, and now I got moved further away even more. When I tried to clarify this with the ref, look, I, I was a lot closer, I was told to shut up and stay there. Which inevitably led to my character bleeding out. At the edge of the play area, nowhere near the battle. Just left the bled out. I sent the email out to the head of the game team, as well as to the admin team, and I yet to have a response. So at this point, I don't know what to do with Curious Pastimes. On to the thank yous. Thank you to everybody who came to me personally about my E3 GBU vlog. I had about a dozen people come up and say it was a great video to watch. I want to thank those who checked in on me after Celtic's passing. I want to thank the siblings of the step again for your <laughs> mankini, as well as the other interactions I had with you all. The hospitaliers of the Lions, Jane Winter, thank you. Wallace Faction again, you guys have been awesome. David and David, David Lewis, David Moore. So what's next for me and Curious Pastimes? Well, due to the death I mentioned earlier, it's on the game team to respond to my email now. And depending on their response, will determine what path I take for Curious Pastimes. I have a few months to pass through, obviously being away, get Halloween Christmas out of the way, done and dusted, and then see what happens in the new year. Again, just waiting on that response from the game team. There's been a few personal circumstances as well, which will also go into my decision. There are tons of other LARPs out there that might need a look over but again we shall see that's my gbu thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe till then i'll see you all on the next vlog bye, -bye.